Michael Jackson's anti-gravity lean seems to be a scientific anomaly. When he debuted it in the 1988 music video for Smooth Criminal, people had no idea how he was able to pull it off because it seemed to break the laws of physics. In a recent study published in the Journal of Neuroscience, scientists broke down exactly what's going on when someone tries to do the anti-gravity lean. The average person can lean forward with a straight back at about 20 degrees. If they lean any further, the tension goes and goes and they could fall down and look like a big goober. Michael Jackson, the scientist calculated, can lean forward at about 45 degrees doing the anti-gravity lean. So how can Michael lean twice as far as everybody else? Well, it turns out that he had some help. That's right, it's his shoes. In 1993, Michael Jackson patented a type of shoe that helped him achieve this seemingly impossible feat. So at the bottom of the shoe, there's a triangle slot that matches another triangle on the stage floor. When Michael's on stage, a metal rod pops through that slot, he hooks on his shoe, and then he's good to lean. Easy, right? Well, not so much. So for some, these shoes may not seem like a huge surprise. They've been around since the 80s. They're not a heavily guarded secret. So can you go home, get on Amazon, buy some special shoes, and pull off the anti-gravity lean? Well, probably not. As the scientists point out in this new study, there's a lot of factors that go into pulling off the anti-gravity lean. Michael Jackson and his crew are still impossibly talented dancers, and they have a lot of factors on their side. It all comes down to a center of gravity. When we stand straight, our center of gravity lies in front of the spine's second sacral vertebra. When we lean forward with our fulcrum at our hips, the erector spinal muscles support the spinal column as our center of gravity shifts. But when we have a straight back and the bend comes at the ankles, the pressure transfers to the Achilles tendon, and that could really muck you up. It can only take so much before you just collapse. Even with secret shoes, bending at 45 degrees puts an incredible amount of pressure on the Achilles tendon. Trained dancers, without the shoes, can only bend at about 30 degrees. That's impressive. But with the shoes, they need to make it 15 degrees farther, all while looking fly and not screaming in agony. I could probably make it to about five degrees. So this move is seriously superhuman. 